Hello everyone, I'm Anne from Anne Makes here on YouTube as well as annemakes.blogspot.com and today I would like to share with you how easy and fun it is to use the Cricut Cuddlebug, the die cutting and embossing machine by Cricut. So you too can learn to make some fun and cute crafts like this. So if you'd like to see how easy it is to use the Cricut Cuddlebug and exactly what can you do with it, please stay tuned. The first thing you must do when you want to work with your Cricut Cuddlebug is to make sure that you are working on a stable and flat surface. Place the machine on your surface and open the two doors at the same time. This activates the section cup system underneath and will keep your Cricut cuddle bug from moving around while you're working on it. When you purchase a Cricut cuddle bug, it will come with this user manual. It is very easy to use and very easy to read. All the instructions you need are explained step by step with clear pictures. But let's do a small demonstration right now. With your cuddle bug, you will get an A plate, which is the base plate, and you will get two B plates. You will need these in order to cut with Cricut dies. For example, let's say you would like to die cut some butterflies. And by the way, the Cricut, the Cricut allows you to cut through various materials. Here I have some plastic or acetate. But this is actually recycled for some packaging. Some cardstock. It will die cut through many different weights of paper. Here's some foam, the fun foam that we like to use in our kids' crafts. But I have multiple uses for this myself. Of course, you can cut chipboard. Again, this is a piece of recycled packaging. And it is also possible to die cut some thin sheets of wood as well as aluminum. This is cut away from a soda can. If you want to die cut and emboss a shape like I have done here with this butterfly, here is what you do. First, Place down the A plate, follow with the cuddle bug embossing mat, then lay down a B plate, next add the die. On top of the die, Place the medium that you will like to die cut. In this case, we're using a piece of cardstock. And then top off your sandwich with the last layer with another B plate. Mind you, mine it looks very used because it is. <laughs> you will get a brand new one with your Cricut cuddle book. And then all you have to do is crank away. If you hear a small cracking noise, that's perfectly normal. And there you have it, a perfectly die cut little butterfly. But let's go one step further. How about we emboss this cute little butterfly? To emboss the die cut, first use the A plate as your base. Place a B plate over that. Place your die with the paper die inside of it. Cover with the embossing mat. This is what will help make the embossing. Cover with the top layer B plate and pass through the Cricut cuddle book. 
all you need to do is just give it a crank. And there you have it. You will have a new embossed little butterfly like this. Let's say you would like to cut some other images, perhaps this bird, with some different types of materials. How about we try some aluminum? Well, the process is the same. We begin with the A plate, followed by the embossing mat. Next, we layer another B plate, place the die, then set the piece of aluminum down, face down, add another B layer, and now you are ready to crank. And here you have a little bird, and you can emboss it as well. We just repeat the steps we did for the cardstock butterfly. Some materials may require for you to pass them through the uh, die cutting machine twice. And finally, how about some chipboard? See that? With a few dies and a few cranks of the Cricut Cuddlebug die cutting embossing machine, you too can make your own embellishments out of chipboard, cardstock, aluminum, plastic, and foam, and even thin wood. I hope you liked this short tutorial. If you did, I would so appreciate a thumbs up. Please like, comment, and share. And Get to check out my other videos on YouTube, please check out my blog at annmakes.blogspot.com where you will see similar projects to this. And there are full tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you after the next video. Bye!